Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris here from Mixed Time Online and today we're going to look into panning modes. All right, so before we jump in, if you're new here on this channel and you're into music production, and recording, mixing, mastering out of your home studio, consider subscribing to this channel. And for all of you, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Again, share and like this video. All right, so panning modes. Now, the goal of this video is for you to understand what panning modes are. You can find those in most DAWs. Now, I'm gonna jump into Cubase. We're gonna look at what we're gonna be working on today. Okay, now I have two electric guitar tracks. Okay, let's listen to the first one. All right, the second one. Perfect, now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pan one to the left and the other one to the right. So now both are mono tracks, okay? Uh, so I don't have access to panning modes on a mono track. So I only have the standard panner. So I'm gonna pan this one to the right and the other one to the left. All right, so pretty straightforward. Now, both of those mono tracks are routed into this group stereo track this time this one is stereo uh, so i can hear whatever is panned to the left and to the right okay now this is where it gets interesting okay, if i want to pan uh slightly to the left or the right that stereo group track this is what it's going to do because by default cubase has set up the panning mode to a balance panner So if you notice, if I pan my signal, my stereo signal to the left, I'm gonna lose a bit of what's going on the right side of the spectrum. And same goes for uh, the other side. So this is what the balance panner does on a stereo track. Okay, now what that is going to do, it's going to keep uh, whatever is playing on the right and the left, combine both left and right and balance both together. So if I want to pan the entire signal to the left, I'm just going to bring whatever is on the right to the left side combined with the left side signal. Okay, and same goes if I want to go to the right. So it combines both left and right so everything can be panned together, okay, without losing anything, which is very practical. Something you can do that is pretty cool too, you can just narrow your stereo field if you want. Just by bringing a bit of the right side near the middle and uh, same for the left side, again towards the middle, you get a more narrow stereo field. Okay, now if you click in Cubase, anyways, if you keep your finger on uh, on the panner in the middle and you just drag up and down, okay, uh, I'm just going to bring that back to its original state. All right, so by left clicking in the middle of the panner, um, you can drag up to narrow your stereo field or drag down to enlarge the stereo width okay or if i go way up at some point it's going to do the reversed effect so the left is going to become the right and vice versa okay um, if you want you can bring both sides to the middle okay uh, by clicking on the left value and click on c for center and same for the right side and now you have a mono signal, okay? That simple. So this is basically the stereo combined 
pander, okay? Now, that can be very useful, especially for stereo instruments, like a VST piano, for example, or a VST synth, okay? Um, that has like some information, different information from left to right, for example. Um, now, by combining the two, you can manage to pan that instrument better, okay? Without losing anything. Um, now, when it comes to um, effects channel tracks with, that are stereo or a group tracks, like I do here, um, I don't use the combined uh, stereo panner. I just leave everything at the stereo balance because everything stays in the center anyways. So I don't need to work with the panning anyway. So I leave that in the center. So I just use the regular panning mode. Um, and most of the other tracks that I work with, usually on an acoustic uh, instrument recording, most of the tracks are going to be mono anyways. Okay. Um, so mainly used for stereo instruments. VSTs and so on. Very practical. Uh, so that is basically it, guys. I hope that helps. And if you have any questions or comments, leave everything down below. And don't forget to share, to like, and to subscribe to this channel. All right. Until next time, see you.